In the previous video, we discussed about the transcription elongation in eukaryotes. Now this video will follow up with the transcription termination in eukaryotes. First, let's get to the elongation step where we see the mRNA molecule has been synthesized. We see here it has got elongation complex that has some factors bound like DSIF, factor H and many others that are not shown here. The important point to be noted here is that the phosphorylation of CTD carboxy terminal domain. The CTD of RNA polymerase 2 is phosphorylated at serine 2 and serine 5 during the elongation process. And also DSIF factor is phosphorylated during elongation. Remember the phosphorylation of DSIF is done by the active PTEFB factor. Now when there is end of gene, many cleavage factors start the recruitment of many termination factors. First the 7SKSN RNP complex inhibits the PTEFB protein. The inhibition of PTEFB leads to dephosphorylation of DSIF because the subunit CDK9 of PTEFB phosphorylates the DSIF. So here when kinase is no longer available, the DSIF remains in dephosphorylated state as shown in the diagram. Now to the dephosphorylated DSIF factor, the NELF binds which is the negative regulator of transcription. Furthermore, to mediate the transcription process, the CTD is dephosphorylated at serine 5 position. And this is done by the serine 5 PPAs as shown in the animation. Now in the next step, we need to bring the cleavage and polyadenylation factors to the complex. We see when the poly A signal is transcribed on mRNA molecule as a sequence of AAU, AAA, it's kind of a termination signal. So for this termination signal, we have a molecule that interacts with it. First we have the CPSF, that's cleavage and polyadenylation specificity factor. This CPSF binds with the pre-mRNA on AAU-AAA poly A signal. We see the CPSF has two important subunits, subunit 160 and subunit 73. The subunit 160 binds AAU-AAA signal and subunit 73 shows hydrolase activity with which it's able to cleave the pre-mRNA from the complex just downstream of poly A signal or AAU-AAA sequence. Now in the next step, this CPSF molecule recruits another factor to the mRNA molecule, which is the CSTF. This CSTF binds U or GU rich region downstream of poly A signal. Now let's see the binding of these cleavage factors separately on mRNA molecule. In this diagram, we can see the pre-mRNA molecule from the complex. It has got poly A signal in the form of AAU, AAA and it has also got U or G rich region downstream of poly A signal. So it's here where the interaction occurs. On poly A signal, the CPSF binds. And then this CPSF recruits CSTF on mRNA, which binds with the U or G rich region of pre-mRNA. And then the cleavage occurs here in between these two factors. If we see this on complex diagram, it's here where the cleavage occurs and we get the pre-mRNA molecule and to this pre-mRNA cleaved molecule the polyadenylation is done where we see many adenines are added to the tail of mRNA thus giving us poly A tail on 3' end and this is done by poly A polymerase enzyme by the above process we get the mRNA cleaved off from the complex but the RNA polymerase 2 continues to synthesize mRNA further since some stretch of mRNA is still there. So for actual termination to occur, we need to stop this RNA polymerase. For this, we have torpedo model of termination in eukaryotes, which is done by XRN2 or RAT1 proteins. XRN2 in case of humans and RAT1 in case of yeast. We see XRN2 is recruited by P54 NRBPSF complex to the RNA. To facilitate the degradation of uncapped leftover mRNA stretch. So it must be noted here this XRN2 that is the exoribonuclease it works on uncapped mRNA. So this XRN2 being exoribonuclease easily degrades the 5' prime to 3' prime mRNA but it must be noted the uncapped ones. So the leftover stretch is degraded by XRN2 and by this way RNA polymerase 2 stops synthesizing mRNA further. 
thus ultimately leading to the termination of transcription. So this is all about transcription termination in eukaryotes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.